Hello and welcome to Deponia. For those of you who don't know, Deponia is the first part of a comedic dystopian point-and-click adventure game series by Dedelic Entertainment. I picked up the second part on Steam a little while ago, and since it has been a, quite a while since I played the first game, I decided I should probably go back and play it again. So without further ado, let's start a new game and jump right in. Scroll wheel is definitely the easy way to go there. Huh? What is it now? Wasn't the game supposed to have started already? Yeah, well, yes. But the junk press broke down, and we thought we'd use the time for a little tutorial. Who thought that? I don't need no stinking tutorials. So I how really do you don't. fix the junk press? Just watch me and learn. Maybe you want to listen to what I have to say first? But you don't have anything to say. Oh, come on. It won't be long. Just point the cursor at me and left click. We'll see about that. I wonder if I can skip this. Yes, I can. It's kind of pathetic, you get all erratic About dirty dishes congesting the sink I'm tired of your bothers, remember our fathers They dwelled in a world filled with rubbish and stink But when all hope was lost, someone raised from the dust He was handsome and cunning, his haircut had style Courage was shining in his eyes As he said, screw you guys, mind your own business I'm off now, goodbye Huzzah, he's off now, goodbye Junk. Junk. And more junk. A life of order and happiness. Oh, my bad. That was junk, too. <sighs> well, that does it. I need to leave this dump. Fortunately, this time my plan is foolproof. This time everything will work out. Where did I put my list? Heck, I really have to get away from this junkyard. You know, as soon as somebody says that this time something will work out, it never actually does. Ah, there's my list. Let's see. Seems like I've packed almost everything I need. All I need now are some provisions. The toothbrush, a pair of socks, and a bolt cutter. A bolt cutter? What the... Well, guess I must have had a reason to put it on the list. My question is, what's the thing in the lower left? All I need now the jar of pills. are provisions. The bolt cutter, for whatever reason. The toothbrush, a pair of socks, and that's it! Huh. My old escape plans. Some of them weren't half bad. Yet they all failed. Oh, my father left me. Besides alone was this stupid wooden trunk. Then he left the ponia without me. My father left me a trunk before he left me. I don't want to open it. I don't want to be disappointed yet again. The oil is rancid, but I could use it for hair wax. The best thing about it is the can. This could be useful. If you haven't played a point-and-click adventure game, it's best to really search the rooms very carefully with your mouse to make sure you're not missing anything. What's this? A sock? That explains why I've had such cheesy dreams. Heh <laughs> Nah. Like always, there's only junk on TV. Blech. Nah, like... A 
adding oil to the flames is not part of my escape plan, but <laughs> it's an integral part of plan B. I'm not sure I want to know what plan B is, or maybe I really do. Ah, the first aid kit. It saved my life several times, but since the time I tried to build a shrapnel-propelled jet, there's no band-aid left. The only thing in there now is Tony's tranquilizer. That just sounds like a terrible idea. Hmm. Locked. Tony must have the key. Another note from Tony. And what's she complaining about now? Will you please clean the bathroom for once? Yeah, right. In her dreams. Oh, God. How do they even expect to wash with water that thick? Whoa! What the? The toothbrush I... bailed out on me. Guess I should have kept it in a more germ-free environment. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is Tony's room. The lion's den, or more aptly, the dragon's lair. Ah! Well, what's well, that? Well, that seems dangerous. A guillotine so I won't enter her room? Whoa! That girl has issues. I, I mean, where she actually set it off on herself? At all. Stay out of my room. You have no business in there anymore. Who does Tony think she is? I've got better things to do than rummage through her drawers. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Aw, oh, crap. I need a better plan to catch it. And there are notes everywhere. You're not supposed to eat on the sofa. I keep finding leftovers in it. Huh? Well, isn't that a good thing? Heck yeah, it is. Uh, Let's dig in there. Seems there are still some wasabi peas in there. But without something to put them into, nah, I'm not collecting them. Oh, come on. Collecting more shit. Do the dishes already. They won't do themselves. Oh, yeah. They might if they're like that oh, toothbrush. That chance. You scoffed all the food yet again, and I keep finding your crap in the fridge. What the hell's wrong with you? Huh? I don't understand the question. Okay, so now we have a green sock and a yellow sock. Considering the location, I don't think it matters much, but we'll probably have to get two of the same color anyway. Blech. What gnat piss? I'll have a quick look. See if I can find something useful in the pockets. Hey, there really was something in there. A sock! Cool! Wait, another one? So I have a blue sock too. Okay. I need something flammable to start the fire. Mm, that shouldn't be our divine around here. Like notes. That'll work. In you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, nice roaring fire made out of notes that we didn't want to see. We 
We want that wasabi pea, so let's yeah, see if let's we can dump this, this down thing. the sink. Sweet. Yeah. Seems there are still bad without some. Empty can. Yeah. Crumbs. There we go. <laughs> I guess these will make good provisions for the journey. That was a really big single handful. Not gonna complain though. <laughs> huh, not a chance. The handle is missing and I can't get my fingers into the cracks. I don't see how this will do any good considering the state of the water, but... Let's throw some socks in there, I guess. I may not be an expert, but... Ah. Probably need some detergent. Because that'll make everything better. Well, those are... but I need a... I don't want to show up... I may not be an expert. I may not be an expert. Just throw them all in there. Maybe if we're lucky we'll get a matching pair after they're all washed in that disgusting slime. Whoa, look at that! The sock changed... Who Wait, why do you just put the fork Where's in the, the pot? One? Oh, clear case of sacrificial color mixing. So did the blue and yellow ones mix together and make Ouch, a green one? Damn, that's hot. Oh, he didn't put the fork in. He actually took them out. Okay, I see. So I got the I got the socks. I have the bolt cutter. I have the provisions, which I guess is the thing I originally thought was pills or something. So now I just need the toothbrush. Ouch! Alright, now I have a mouse trap, so I'm assuming I have to catch a toothbrush with the mouse trap. Nah, I don't think this will work with of bait with a toothbrush like. I'm not sure. I'll check behind the house first. No, I haven't finished. Alright, I guess not. Bait for a toothbrush. Well, I think that's all. Should be enough. Assuming I can't go in front of the house either. So let's see. Maybe provisions on the mousetrap? <laughs> there now we the go. In for a surprise. I'm not sure why a toothbrush would like wasabi peas, though. But you know what? I'm just not going to think about it. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Considering we have a living toothbrush to begin with. Gotcha. Ha! Gotcha. I'll make you suffer the next time I brush my teeth. I think considering the state of that toothbrush, you're the one that's going to be suffering. Alright, I think we have everything we need.
No, no, I need to put something in it, I guess. Bolt cutter in the suitcase. Bolt cutter, for whatever reason. Check. Provisions. Provisions. Check. Socks. Socks. Check. And the leading toothbrush. Toothbrush. Check. Which, ah, for some reason, like is I now sitting still. Oh, I can't close it anymore. What do you Seems expect? Like you have the handle of the bolt cutter sticking out the side, and you have the provision standing up. It doesn't take that much space. I'll never be able to close the suitcase with a monster like that in there. I mean, I won't need a bolt cutter where I'm going. I wonder why it was on the list in the first place. I'm sure you had a reason. <laughs> now it fits. Packed and ready to go. <clears throat> ah, I think I just strained something. <laughs> hey, Rufus, you should save your energy for the unavoidable drop into the abyss. Yeah, thanks, Wenzel. You can save your sarcasm for someone less well-prepared than me. This time, I took everything into account. It'll be a stroll in the park. Ah, that's what you said last time. It took us days to remove the cactus spikes from your butt, remember? Ooh. That's all toxic runoff under the bridge. This time, everything will work out. And when finally an Elysian Orbit Pixie massages my back, I'll ask her to pause for a minute so I can laugh about you. Whatever. But say, can I have your stuff when you're gone? Yeah, sure. Help yourself. As if anything in this dump is valuable. It's time for me to leave all this behind. Great. I hope you remember to calibrate the harpoon. I'll do that later, after I've stored everything in the pod. Well, then hurry up. Well, you know that the Organon are always on time. Alright. Let's talk to Wenzel. Hey, Wenzel. What's up? Any signs of the Organon yet? Nope, but they'll be here. The Organon are always on time. It's no accident that we set the town hall clock by them. What else do you know about the Organon? Just as little as you. So that's really nothing. Exactly. Their motives are as unclear as our water. Good thing they leave us alone. See if we can get a little backstory here. Do you also think there are boundless riches in Elysium? Don't know. I'm happy with what I got. Yeah, but I will have so much more. Aw, poor, poor Wenzel. And do you also think that no one has to work in Elysium? Just a moment. You're not even working now. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> I'm meant to be up there. Yeah, I'm sure that's how it works. And don't you think the Elysian women are the most beautiful of all? I've never really understood why Tony and you aren't together anymore. Yeah, well, that's why you'll be rotting in this forsaken hole forever. I deserve better than having to listen to lectures about my laziness and my unreliability all the time. About the plan. Are there any problems? Problems? No, 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 no. The plan is perfect. No, it's but... not. I mean, taking into account the physics of the situation, I really don't think that four of those rockets are going to get that huge hunk of metal plus him up in the air, but we'll see what happens. Now, what happens when I've got the pod ready? We wait for the Organon Cruiser. As soon as it's here, you light the fuse and jump into the cockpit. You have calibrated the harpoon, right? Not yet, but there'll be plenty of time for that. Uh, if you say so. All right, pack, calibrate, light fuse, and... I'll launch myself into the upper spheres! Well, at least there's a chance that the magnet will hit the cruiser, but... No buts. This time, everything will work. I'll show you. No. I'll show everybody. It will be a spectacle, no doubt. Any other problems? Now, what happens when I've got the pod ready? 
We wait for the Organon Cruiser. As soon as it's here, you light the fuse. You have Calip- Not yet, but the- uh, oh, Well, no, this time- I'll See I'll this already? This time, it'll work out. I just Which means it won't. Sure, Rufus, of course. No problems. Why? Of, co of course. How could I ever think such a thing? About the plan. Are there any pro problem? No, no, the plan. Missed this before? The suitcase doesn't fit into the pod. So you didn't think of adding some storage space? Of course I thought of it. But so what's the problem? I already told you. There is no problem. The plan is perfect. And who am I to contradict you? No one. <sighs> Anything else? No problem. No problems. Why? Of course not. Of course. How could I ever think such a thing? I'll go back to work then. You better do that. You haven't got much time left. Alright, let's see if there's anything around here for me to grab. It's a wrench. Doesn't look like I can use that telescope. Let's open up the pod and see if we can fit the suitcase in. Storage. Okay, there's a battery there. Somehow, there. don't like think that the suitcase is going to be fitting in there. Oh crap! The battery's using up yeah, all the space. Yeah, that's what I figured. There and now. And now, where are you going to put the battery? There we go. Are you going to like sit on it? That seems painful. Um, if I remove the seat, it might just fit, but how's it going to be attached? And more importantly, where shall I sit? <laughs> New problem. <laughs> oh crap, it's screwed tight. Well, that's what we need the wrench for then. Hmm, I might be able to do without this. That's where the seat was attached. I'll need some kind of replacement. I guess you're gonna use the battery as a replacement, though that seems and more really uncomfortable. Where shall I sit? Oh, maybe not. This isn't much use now, I guess. This isn't much use. There's nothing that needs to. Be. There's nothing that needs. Now where shall I put it? Boy, it's attached firmly. Boy, it's attached. Never! And Tony is not gonna mend it. I'm not really sure what to do right now, so let's go back into the house. See if we can go out the front door this time. Maybe the bolt cutters? No, I can't even pick those up anymore. Let's see what's around here. It's a chili pepper. Ouch! Hot! Really? You can't pick up a chili pepper with your bare hands? That's a worthless barbell. <laughs> New problem. Wow! It's screwed tight!
I guess we're gonna use the mailbox as a seat and put the battery inside. Fair enough. Hello, Hannick. Hey, um, uh, Still doesn't seem very comfortable, well, but eh, what you gonna do? Ah! I'm really terrible with names. Is the tunnel closed again? Yes, we had another collapse in Sector 7. Another junk slide? All this trash is really driving me nuts. I'm glad I'll be gone for good soon. Are you? You bet. Well, I only know you won't be leaving through this tunnel. Did you see Tony anywhere? Tony? You're big, angry, breathes fire. My former girlfriend. Ah! Tony! Well... I guess she's down in her store, working, like everybody else, except you. I'll finally leave this junk heap of a planet. <laughs> oh yeah, another one of your brilliant plans? This time, it's absolutely foolproof. <laughs> yeah, no, it really isn't. Right. You being a fool and all. But I reckon you running around here has got nothing to do with any other problems. No, it hasn't. <laughs> well, good for you. Yes, it clearly doesn't have anything to do with me not having a place to put my suitcase, then taking out the battery so it has a place to fit, then taking out the seat so I can put my battery there, and then realizing I can't sit on my battery. Okay, the plan itself is foolproof, but... Here we go. I removed the seat. But where do I put the battery now? And where do I sit? Well, seems like you need a kind of seat with a battery compartment. A seat with a battery compartment? I've never seen anything like it. Well, I have. I had one just like that. It was pretty comfortable. Until I accidentally found the switch. Not sure I want to know what happened then. I just need to prepare the capsule for so the So it's a good thing I can't ask it. harpoon, light the fuse, and then it's showtime! Uh-huh. Then what? The escape pod is connected to that very powerful electromagnet via a long chain. Once the magnet is attached to the Organon cruiser, I can reel in the chain with a pedal-operated winch system and pull myself and the pod up. I see. And then? Then, the cruiser will bring me directly to Elysium. Well, I really don't see how this plan of yours could go wrong. Don't worry, I see I'll plenty of ways you can go wrong. I'll write you a postcard from Elysium. You go ahead and do that. Is there we can get this pepper? Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter right at the moment. Let's go get that battery in the mailbox. There you go. That really doesn't seem like it would be a comfortable seat. But this whole plan is terrible, so... Ha, That's probably the least of his worries. There. The capsule is ready. Now, all I have to do is calibrate the harpoon. 